Hello again, Rob Crow, Molly Fool Canada Member Service Dude, teaching you, giving you your third lesson here, your the third leg of our uh, basic site navigation stool, as it were. Um, last couple lessons we would have covered uh, creating a little link, so you may have a link here that would take you directly to your login site, but uh, I'm going to assume we didn't have that handy, and I'm going to go down to my taskbar here and click on my Google Chrome icon. You may have your Internet Explorer one here. I'm going to use the Google Chrome, open it up. That brings me to my blank page. I'm going to left click in the address bar here. <clears throat> and then uh, as it's highlighted in blue, I can type right over that. Type the web address in to our free site. Now I'm at our free site. And um, we've got these buttons here for navigation. And I go to the Stock Advisor Canada one. And a drop down menu appears. And I hover over login and I left click, taking us into the login page where I type in my password and username and log in to the premium site. Now, <clears throat> first thing I'm going to do is pick a link, which is something I want to teach you here today how to click on a link and have it take you where you want to go. So let's say I wanted to read about Acadian Timber. There's the uh, recommendation. I left click on that with my mouse and it takes me directly to the page, but I lose my home page. I've left my home page now. And let's say I wanted to go further along and, and click on this link, more blue text. You notice the cursor changes from a little pointer to a little hand. When I come over the blue text, I left click it. it takes me to yet another page. So now I'm two pages deep. I've lost my home page. But it's right here. If I wanted to go back, I could just click Stock Advisor Home. That would be one option. The other option is up in the top left corner, you've got your arrows, and you can left click once. Takes me back to the Acadian Timber page. Left click again. Takes me back to home. Now you can also navigate forward as it remembers the path I took. So I can go forward once, and I can go forward a second time to where I ultimately ended up. Can't go forward anymore because I haven't clicked anywhere else yet. Um, had I clicked forward yet another page um, to like our FAQ, now I would be able to go back once, twice, and three times before I got back to my home page. And the path would be three deep going forward once, twice, and if I click a third time, three times. The other alternative, of course, was just clicking Stock Advisor Home and getting back home the home page. Now, the way I tend to like to use things is I may have a main page that I want to work with. So the home page may have multiple things I want to focus on. And rather than the cumbersome back and forth, back and forth, I can take my mouse and I can hover it over the blue text. Blue text on the uh, white page is usually a link. And the cursor again changes from a pointer to a hand. But now instead of left clicking, if I right click my mouse button, so the right button on the mouse, opens up this menu. I can move my cursor around, that menu will stay available to me. If I accidentally tapped it again, though, it would disappear. No problem, I come back, hover over the blue text, right click again, press the right mouse button again, and you have your menu again. Now, I can select from that menu. These are my options. And the option I wanna go with is open link in new tab. And you'll watch the top of the browser after I do this. I'll click open link in new tab, and a little tab opens up but I stay on the same page. I haven't lost my page. So let's say I decided right at the beginning I wanted to read about Acadian Timber and I also wanted to read about the stocks on our radar. I knew I wanted to cover those, but I'm gonna to wanna to go look later on, see what else is on the home page. I'd like to keep it available too. So I right click here, opening up my little menu again, and I again choose open link in new tab and yet another tab will open up at the top. So now I have a couple pages handy. So I can now take my mouse and click on this tab and I'm immediately at the Acadian Timber page, or click on this tab, and I would be at the Stocks on Our Radar page, or I could click back on the original tab, and I'm back to my home page, where I could choose what else I'd like to be reading about today. This is an easy way to navigate, um, and it's an easy way to organize things, as you have them all above you at the top of your browser. And to close out the tabs, you have a little X in the corner. When you move your mouse, you'll notice it highlighting. And you can just left click on that and it'll close out the tab, left click again, and you've tidied back up, you're back to the one tab again. So that's the basics. Um, with these three lessons, you should be able to log into your page, uh, create a handy little 
icon um, shortcut on your desktop as a reference to get you in there quickly. Um, but you also know how to type into the address bar and you know how to work the navigation links on your website. So you're well on your way to enjoying your Stock Advisor Canada site. Starting with the next lesson, I'll go into the details of, that focus more on specifically what happens at each of these pages and how you can make the best possible use out of your premium service here at Stock Advisor Canada. Till then, folks.